think you and I felt very much so after the grenade toss game where Mariota looked like a clown. I thought that was the weekend they should have started Desmond Ritter against the Bears. Bears had the worst defense in the league. That would be a nice soft opening, as it were, at yep. Mercedes-Benz, as opposed to a couple of weeks later, thrown to the Wolves against the Saints in New Orleans. I, I, think that, I think if Arthur had it back again, I think he'd probably play it that way. So let's hear from Steve Weiss before we get into these tiers, because um, CBS Sports has our guy in the sixth tier of quarterbacks. Now you're going to say, well, that sounds weird. We'll tell you who is in that tier with Desmond Ritter in just a second. But before we do, this is what Steve Weiss had to say about the Falcons and Ritter. As we said, you'll hear more of this interview coming up next hour. Yeah, I mean, this is where, I mean, what has Arthur Smith done in terms of going through the two years they went through? What has he done to make you think he doesn't know what he's doing? Nothing. Right? He's, he Nothing. has coached that team up with marginal talent. Again, no insult, but but they had a specific plan, and they have been in just about every game. So, I think he knows something about this kid. A lot of coaches know something about their personnel. Um, you know, that's like Philadelphia. I mean, they gave up great players on that defense. But I think they know something about the guys behind them. So I, I, I would trust Arthur Smith until it's time not to. I, I think he knows something about this kid. But it's not just him, guys. It's how, he, how they have built this team. Earlier, I drew the parallel. If he's Brock Purdy, the way they've built this team, I think they're going to be just fine because there's a run first team, with a lot of options, get the ball out of your hands with occasional pops down deep. And I think they know that Desmond Ritter is more than capable. Desmond Ritter is more than capable. Now, he talked about how the offense is built, and all of those things are a factor. But, Mike, let's talk about Tier 1. This is a no-brainer, guys. It's Mahomes, it's Burrow, it's Allen. But tier 2 is Herbert, Lamar, Hurts, Lawrence. Now, many people would have Hurts in Tier 1. That's fine. You get to, you know, Tier 3, all right, which is kind of interesting. Fields in Tier 3, Mac Jones in Tier 5, uh, Rodgers is in Tier 3 because, again, he did not have a terrific season last year, right. but he is Aaron Rodgers. We get to Tier 6, and here are the guys that are at least on par, according to CBS Sports, to our guy Desmond Ritter. Kyler Murray, Sam Howe, Jordan Love, Baker Mayfield, Desmond Ritter. Yeah, I mean, Baker's had an up-and-down career. We don't, you guys know it. He's had multiple coaches, and the most recent time we saw him on the field, did a nice job with the Rams on a, on a pretty poor Rams team. But uh, Kyler Murray, he actually was good enough to get his team in the playoffs, and then all the wheels have fallen off. Yep. And they lost the coach, and a lot of people are questioning his work ethic and his everything else. Sam Howell, I don't know anything about him. And I think that people like the guys that put this list together say he had one game with the Commanders. Our guy had four, and that's why he's in the same tier as Desmond Ritter. And it's an inexperience. <laughs> I'm okay with this. You? I got no problem. Look, Desmond Ritter, it's not a knock. Don't get upset, guys. He just he doesn't he hasn't shown me enough yet. That's why I'm always harping on that. I've got to see him. Look, hopefully, as to your point and what Steve brought up, they're gonna put him in a place to succeed, surround him with weapons, and he's gonna mature. And Arthur believes in him, and Arthur's taking his reputation and his job on this guy. So he obviously sees something. And in, in tier seven, it's all rookies, right? It's guys we have no idea how good they'll be. Anthony Richardson, by the way, at what point does he start for the Indianapolis Colts? Well, every scout said it's all about the upside with him. Some people felt if you throw him to the Wolves, you might he might regress. I mean, like, he's a tremendous athlete. I don't think you could compare him to Michael Vick because Michael Vick at least mm. had a full – he had two seasons at Virginia Tech. This guy – Mike know, Mike Vick won a lot in college, He Mike. did. Now, Mike obviously had an injury too, but Mike had one hot read early on with Reeves, and they opened things up eventually, but – what can you trust Richardson to do? Just you know, let him go out there and freelance? Because that could be ugly. No. But he, like, to me, that's a guy who's got to sit and learn. Now, Colts fans aren't going to want to hear that. They're going to want to see this guy out there immediately. Especially with the high pick they spent on him. Right. Young and Stroud, we know they're going to play. But the point is, Tier 7, mm. it's rookies. I mean, I, I'm fine with that. And then Tier 6 is a hurt guy, a guy we don't know about in Sam Howell. Jordan Love, a guy we think we know but we really don't know. And Baker Mayfield, who's with his one, two, three, fourth team. And then our guy. I, I have no issues with where they're putting him. The cool thing about these tiers, and we always have fun, especially in the offseason, I can't wait to talk about where this is at the end of the year. What does this look like with Desmond Ritter at the end of the year? Has he elevated to at least a tier three guy, Mike? I'm not telling he's going to be tier one. He's not Mahomes, Burrow, or Allen unless he's leading us to the Super Bowl, which is, again, it's not impossible, unlikely, but un not impossible. I just like the fact that, hey, he's got room to grow. And that is what you want with the guy who's finally getting a chance to play. If Ritter, or if for whatever reason, if he was, let's just say, in the fourth tier, and you felt like he wasn't going to get any better. See, I think he's got more room right. upside no. to get a lot better. You know, we talked to Arthur Smith about this, what, was it a month ago? And we said, how much, uh, when you drafted him, was the experience at Cincinnati? 
because obviously, you know, you're, if you're taking a guy like Anthony Richardson, you're taking totally on the uh, comp. You're betting on the calm that this guy's got the upside and a higher upside, but you haven't seen it polished yet. Ritter won big games. Ritter got to play Alabama. Ritter nearly beat George in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. He won over 40 starts. I mean, he's got a, he's got a lot of work. And I just think that at, at maybe the Bucks not been so mediocre. If the Bucks won away and won the division, we'd, we'd have seen Desmond Ritter halfway through the season. Yeah. The problem was we were mathematically alive. Veteran coach realizes even though Mario took warts and all, Mario would give you a better chance to win. That's why we're stuck with him. More with Steve Weiss coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. It's Dukes and Bell, Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. It is our Falcon Report. Also, Corey Wooten is going to join, join us, uh, former Bears, d and Talk about uh, the Bears and, and talk some NFL stuff with us here in less than 10 minutes. As we talk about uh, the Falcons and, and going to camp, um, Mike and I were just talking about this the other day. Uh, actually, as a show, we were talking about you know going up and, and being out there. And I said, you know, we haven't heard a lot of Ritter either when it comes to the media for for, for – I'm just talking from the purposes of during the season, right? In the offseason, he's been available, and they've made him available, and it's been great. But, Mike, I I think when they make him available at mm-hmm. camp, it's going to feel different because it's his team. It's going to be his time. And last year was not the case, right? We didn't hear from him in camp. Mm-hmm. It was Marcus Mariota. I don't even think we got a chance to talk to Ritter, to be right. honest with you. Right. So it's going to feel a little bit different for him, but certainly from a media standpoint because there's going to be a lot of focus on him and everybody's going to be watching these practices and seeing at least the open practices, the, uh, right. trying to figure out, is he as good as we think he is? Well, you know the drill. There's going to be somebody, one of those blogs, is going to be having access to the Falcons practice. Ritter overthrew Craig London. Oh, guys. yeah. And then Happy. guys are going to go bananas. You're and right. There we go. But part of this is, if you missed the conversation earlier in the show, guys, sorry I sounded like this again over. Carl's been a good buddy today because it sounds like crap, but thanks for being a good partner and soldiering through. But no, one thing with the... I've had my own issues. <laughs> and it's the same thing. It's called it's called GERD. I, I'm, I'm miserable. I hate sounding like this. No, I, but, I, I hope you will get better. I am coming off. I literally right. just walked in the hallways like, I'm feeling as good as I felt. Now, right. now, when I say that, and I told you guys, like, you know your voice, but the right. voice is not as, it's not right. as strong as and it normally... Can't, can't but do it's getting want. there. Right. As one guy said yesterday, it sounds like Carl's doing the show and I'm in the trunk of Carl's car. <laughs> um... <laughs> But I'm working, doing the I best I can. Skill. You got to see this. I got a steam machine in the back of her commercial breaks. I'm drinking tea. I'm doing the best <laughs> I can. Anyway, but part of the reason I think there's guys, and you and I went round and round and round over the Jalen Carter and everything else with Bijan, and then we bring it back to why guys are still kind of lukewarm with Desmond Ritter. I got to be honest, and we talk, we'll hear more of this with Steve Weiss coming up. I think Bryce Young's going to be a star, and I think a lot of guys in this town mm. saw these guys in the draft, and they said, why don't we go get in the quarterback this mix this draft? Arthur Smith believes in this guy, but I think that's why there's still some pushback. Some guys still on the fence about Ritter because because the other names were enticing. Bryce Young yeah. had the rep and he has a resume. No, Mike, he, you he know did. what today is? What's today that? is like our Pine Barrens episode from The Sopranos. That that's what today is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good reference. Good poll. Uh, I think I'd I was re- re- reduced to eating relish packets in a, in a, in a frozen <laughs> van in the woods later, and then we're blaming each other. <laughs> it's a great episode. Um, <laughs> I also agree he's going to be a star. Listen, when we talked about Bryce Young two seasons ago, and it was sacrifice for Bryce, that was the phrase we used, um, because we didn't know where this thing was going, and, and it was time to turn the page with Matt, and they didn't. But, you know, we thought, like, this is the talented guy that we'll be in position to get. Guys, again, we could have did what Carolina did. We chose not to. We, we could have done that. So, Again, I, that tells me that they are completely in on Ritter, right. and I'm fine with that. But you're right, Mike. I think he's going to be a star, too. And, and it, it sucks because he's a guy that we're going to see in our division, and we got to play him twice a year. The thing is, it is now Carolina's job in their front office, just like it's the Falcons' front office and Terry Fontenot, to build around these guys to make them successful. Right. I don't know if Bryce has everything. They're not a Super Bowl-caliber team. But just with his playmaking, his accuracy, mm-hmm. his decision-making, they're better. They're better than they were last year with all those guys they ran out at quarterback. Who beat us in the who beat us, Mike, when we went up there last year? Who was the quarterback? PJ PJ what the well, you remember PJ Walker. PJ Walker. Yeah, and we were in a position to win that game too. That's when Mar- that's the famous Mariota grenade toss. And you and I literally, Carl and I in the stands in Charlotte, people turned around and looked at us like, what was that? <laughs> It was embarrassing. I and mean, even Carolina fans were literally like, dude. It was, it was embarrassing. Might be time to get the other guy in there. But P.J. Walker was their quarterback. Right. They're better right no. now. And they've added some good wide receivers. Look, they, they, move, they move things off the roster. The owner, like, he's got an itchy trigger finger. He wants to win yesterday. 
I mean, this is why we've got it. Now, this is a short-term fix for our pass rush, but eventually we're going to have to really be good on defense because, well, we, had to, we couldn't be any worse than we were the last three years, but we got to get better because if Bryce Young is as good as he is, he might be the new Drew Brees. Oh. He might be the next Drew Brees in this division if Frank Reich has this thing dialed in. I hope that's, and that's not, a scary proposition. It, yeah, because Drew Brees ran this thing for a long right. time. I mean, listen, Matt Ryan had his successes against Brees, and they, obviously we beat them. There were years we swept right. them. But I don't want to hear that. I, I want I want more of – I need more of Baker Mayfield-type quarterbacks yes. in this division so we can own it. But you know what? That's what's great about the NFL, guys. It's Dukes mm-hmm. and Bell at Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Go own it. Go, go make it happen. Right. If Desmond Ritter outplays him, outplays Baker Mayfield, outplays Derek Carr, when I say outplays, that doesn't mean he throws for 500 yards. Make the plays you're supposed to make. Put your team in position to win. Mike, then he's going to get the the recognition and respect he deserves. Right. When I was a kid growing up as a Giants fan, Phil Simms. Nobody considered Phil Simms right. an elite quarterback. They had a great defense, had a great running game, just did the job. In this case, look, our defense is a work in progress, but we really think we took a big step. We addressed some needs. Guys, I want to be in his corner, but I, but I totally understand where guys are coming from because I only saw four games from this dude. And we just think, with all due respect to him, he just looks like a dude. Some guys are not prepared to believe this guy can be a superstar. Superstar. Yeah, we, we, it's Atlanta. Guys want a superstar under, under center. <laughs> well, he didn't do superstar things in the four games. That's why. 